A very good evening, I'm Aditi Lama and this is the Thursday Night Vision of Asia bringing you all prime South Asian highlights from all across. With our motto as portraying voice of the community, we'd like to begin the episode reflecting on a momentous day for members of the Indian LGBTQ community which took place today in New Delhi, India. The Indian Supreme Court has decriminalized homosexuality, a historic ruling for the LGBTQ community in India, which has struck down the much controversial section 377 from the Indian Penal Code, a battle of over two decades. Delivering his decision, Chief Justice of India Deepak Misra said that the LGBTQ community has the same fundamental rights as citizens, the identity of a person is very important, and we have to vanquish prejudice, embrace inclusion, and ensure equal rights. India now joins 17 Commonwealth nations that have overturned laws criminalizing homosexuality, a legacy left behind in most of these nations by the former British colonial rulers. A big verdict to end decriminalization and affiliated social taboos in India. On that note, let's begin the news segment for tonight, taking a look at the headlines. Get to know upcoming India Association of Long Island's India Fest 2018 to be held on September 23rd in New York. Indian American Senator Vin Gopal organizes Kerala Flood Relief Fundraiser at the Red Bank in New Jersey. American Indian Chamber of Commerce hosts networking night featuring South Asian entrepreneurs in New Jersey. More on the other side of the break. Stay with us in Vision of Asia, voice of the community. We'll be right back. And welcome again, I'm Aditi Lamba and you're watching Vision of Asia, voice of the community, our daily news segment presenting you all top South Asian stories. Beginning the show today, we have an exclusive segment featuring upcoming India Fest 2018 to be held at the popular North Hampstead Park in New York on Sunday, September 23rd. Presented and organized by the India Association of Long Island, the festival will highlight India's cultural roots and expressions with a full day of celebrations. The association has been an integral part of promoting and showcasing diversity and richness of Indian heritage in Long Island area for over 40 years now. This year, the India Fest 2018 promises to be the biggest Indian festival in New York, this fall composing of dance showcase, vendors activities, speech addresses and much more. Recently, President Gunjan Rastogi, along with her executive team, spoke to us at the ITV Gold Studio, inviting all for India Fest 2018. Just opening up this interview, how does it feel to reach this milestone? And, you know, tell our viewers a little bit about, you know, what the organization has done so far. So, this is very, first of all, thank you, Aditi, for inviting us and letting us tell you about India Association of Long Island. This, this year is a, a very important year for us because we are celebrating 40th year. And if you, when we reflect back, we remember how small this association was. Yeah. And I would like to let you know we have more than 2,000 members now, which is huge, you know. Right. The way we started, the reason India Association of Long Island came into existing, existence was to assimilate Americans to Indian culture. And now, you know, everybody knows Bollywood, everybody knows uh, tandoori chicken, right. so that need has changed. But what we have done is we have based it on that, and now our need is for our own community. So we are doing programs. Initially, India Fest is our flagship event, right. where we really want to showcase Indian culture, our um, food, our, you know, different things from India. Right. So you get a feel of India. And that is what we are going to be doing this year as well. But besides that, we have also changed so that we can include other services for the community. We have many, many forums. We could talk about it later when you have some minute. But otherwise, uh, it is just amazing how it has grown and now, looking back 40 years, this right. has really changed from a small association yeah. which was done in somebody's basement. And I really want to give credit to all of our past presidents. They are the backbone of this organization. This is the only organization that has a term of one year, but we have been doing that for the last 40 years. Sometimes people stay back, presidents stay because 
uh, they are asked to stay, their right. things are going well, then people feel that there is no need to change. But usually every year we have elections and we are very, very transparent. To add to that, in 2014, we did accomplish another big um, milestone. We got our own center in Hicksville, 92 East Old Country Road. Wow. We have our own place and we do a lot of forums and a lot of things for the community. Well, beautiful. I think she described the the whole essence of the organization really well. I think it's really empowering to have these kind of associations in a you know in a place like Long Island. It's heavily populated by Indians now. You know, whenever you look around, a lot of New York is you know getting so much of migration of those Indian Americans. How important do you think you know your association has been in sort of you know giving that space you know to those Indian Americans in that area? We are really the biggest organization and we do everything that uh, somehow impacts Indians. Right. So we integrate them with uh, local Americans. We have uh, our events. Right. We have uh, many forums like uh, our President Kunjanji was telling. So we have different uh, kind of activities that keep on happening every now and then. And we have many main functions uh, in the year three, four big functions. And India Fest is one of the biggest that we do. And that is what uh, we are here to talk about. Beautiful. All right, so let's just uh, go ahead and discuss India Fest a little bit more. I have, you know, always personally enjoyed this whole trend of having India Fest, which you now see in different, different locations throughout the nation. I think it's like a, it's, it's something that you look forward to in the season of fall, right? right. After all the festivities are Correct. over in the summer. So mm -hmm. India Fest really kicks off mm -hmm. somewhat of this Indian spirit for the rest of the fall. So this year, how big has this event gotten for all of you? And what can we look forward to now that we're getting so close to the fest? So this is going to be a big one and we are doing our best to accommodate everybody because people are really looking forward to India Fest. It is one of the largest festival on Long Island. Actually, I can say in New York, India Fest is not done any place else in New York. Wow. And we are doing it uh, at the location is North Hempstead Bar Beach, which is beautiful. So we are planning to do yoga on the beach. We are planning to have so many vendors. There'll be constant music and entertainment on a big stage. We will have vendor booths, people can enjoy shopping. It's almost like Mela. Right. And we will have kite flying, so you feel that you're in India. And of course, there'll be things for the children, face painting, and a lot of information. Very importantly, we have a lot of elected officials who are coming to this event. Oh, wow. They have a lot of interest and they want to promote this. So I'm sure people will be able to meet them and uh, we will try to bring a surprise celebrity as well. But we are still working on that, so that once we are confirmed, right. we will tell you more about it. But otherwise, it will be a full day, fun day. Just want to reiterate, it's a free event for the community. Everybody's invited. And free parking, free entertainment. Right. If you just eat, you have to pay a little bit for that. That's all. <laughs> what more can you ask for? You know, while we are talking a little bit about more of this event, it really brings me to Hargobindji because you are the treasurer for this. So you know, you do handle a lot of financial aspects of you know organizing such an event. You know, what do you have to tell us about your sponsors as well as you know the whole business behind hosting such an India Fest? That's quite a responsibility on an organization, especially that you guys are providing it for free. Yes, you know, like uh, Gunjanji was explaining that this organization is 14 years old. Yeah. So this year. We had, we had a fundraising gala, and it was the, one of the most successful fundraising gala in the history of uh, ILI. Wow. And the credit for that goes to, mostly to the upper prize and Kunjanji. <laughs> Thank uh, you. So, uh, you know, it, in terms of uh, uh, this event itself, right. uh, you know, that, so we, the, the main function, the main reason we do a fundraising gala is, yeah. to, have, is to collect the money to hold this event. Okay. Because it, which is a free event for, for the whole community. Right. Uh, in the past, we were doing it in a hotel and other locations like that. That's not very conducive to, you know, a big party space, mm -hmm. a party session of people. Anybody can walk in, anybody can come there, you right. know. So, this, 
This year we are doing it in North Sunset Beach Park and it is a scenic, very beautiful location. You know, people do uh, kayaking and you know, it's like a, and it's a beach, you can do kite flying, you can do yeah. all those activities. Right. In terms of finance, financial situation, yeah. uh, you know, we, are, we have, as I said to you, told you before, we have plenty of money to, you know, we have no issue, issue with money at all. Right. And uh, we, so we are, you know, we are thinking of bringing in some celebrity, you know, which, uh, who, who will probably attract a lot of people. Yeah. You know, she mentioned some names, you know, maybe, uh, maybe those names or some other names, right. you know. Uh, but so, do you think the uh, communities itself should be supporting organizations more? You know, often like a lot of organizations talk about not having enough financial support or not giving enough sponsors. What's your uh, take on that? That's a huge part of putting all of this together. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will. I mean, we have a support from the community, you know, in terms yeah. of fundraising gala, as I said to you, like, you know, most of the people who are well known in the community in Long Island, they, 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 they contributed it. Right. Just, mm -hmm. uh, so it's uh, money is there. We will be, you know, vendors will pay some small fee, mm -hmm. you know, which is uh, not, it's like $400, you know, some, some amount. And uh, so, and the, uh, because we are holding it in a uh, public place, which is a, you know, and it is a, it's a town property and it's not costing us, you know, As that much. much. Okay, gotcha. So there is a whole strategy to having all of this. Yes, together. so uh, like Govindji said, we did raise enough funds to be comfortable, but we are always looking for more sponsors. Right. It always helps. Uh, the other thing is this place where we are doing this is the place where we had our first India Fest in 1990. Oh, wow. So it has a lot of sentimental value for our past right. presidents and a lot of our members who went to our first India Fest and in 1990 and now 2018, they'll be coming again to the wow. same location. So that really gives them that feel of that coming back home. Like we said, the only thing we always worry about is the weather. Right. And that's why for so many years, India Fest was moved indoors. But this year, with the God's grace, we will have good weather and we are <laughs> attempting to do it outdoors once again. But sort of bringing this to a close, my one last question for all of you, you know, mm -hmm. your association is absolutely beautiful. We're all set for this India Fest. What are your expectations right now? And if you were to give a message out to your, our entire audience, what would you like to tell them about India Fest and the sentiments you have for India when you look at the celebration? So we'll start from you. We want people to come. They just need to come and they'll enjoy themselves. We can promise that they will have fun and they will enjoy. It will be a big picnic, big mela, and uh, we just people want to, we want them to come. That's what it is. They should take time and come and enjoy themselves. Beautiful. So, as Pradeep Ji said, we will have activities for all age groups, from young to old. Yeah. So, you know, like we will have uh, arts and crafts for kids, you know, face painting and stuff like that for kids. And there will be cultural programs from north, from south, there will be singing, and there will be kite flying, and there will be yoga on the beach. So everybody can have fun and enjoy, yes. and there will be lots of shopping from different parts of the world, different parts of India, in the north, south. So they can have they can have Gujarati food, they can have Rajasthani food, they can have Punjabi food, and they can have curry chick, curry chick, whatever they like. They can have everything. They will they will have fun. That's what we promise. Gunjinji, my one sentence is: "We will take you to our country, to our country." ये मेरा कहना है तो हम लोग यहाँ पर हैं फॉरेन कंट्री में बट हमारा अटेम्प्ट है कि हम आपको अपने इंडिया ले चलें सो यू शुड फील लाइक यू आर इन इंडिया एंड दैट इज़ ऑल वी वांट टू से जस्ट कम एंड एंजॉय योरसेल्फ वी विल प्रे फॉर गुड वेदर एंड दैट्स इट प्लीज प्लीज कम दैट्स ऑल वी आर एस्किंग यू टू डू जस्ट कम एंड बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस इवेंट you can stay there whole day, you can stay there for an hour. And if you are busy, just come for whatever time, drop by. That's what I tell everybody. Come by and you will not be sorry. You will really have a great time. Let's now take a look at New Jersey, which has been hosting an array of events this season for the high concentration of South Asians that reside in the state. With the population now asking for more representation and space, many Indian organizations and nonprofits have increased their activity promoting more for the members to get involved in. 
With that, the American Indian Chamber of Commerce has evolved to meet the need of the Indian entrepreneurial leadership in the business industry. According to the Chamber, unity amongst Indian businesses will only further the progress and accessibility for more growing businesses. The American Indian Chamber of Commerce recently held its networking night featuring key business leaders from the area along with the member body of the chamber. Let's take a look. So me and Paul Rajan is a founder member. Day one we start the chambers and the other members also there. And uh, for board member, some people ask question, what's the responsibility? We have two meetings. One is network night and one another one is for executive committee members meetings. So two nights you got to spend for being a member uh, board member and now I want to say what up thanks uh, Parik Med uh, Worldwide Media okay thank you and you know we're really looking for like dynamic dynamic individuals because I was told that next year is going to be our 25th anniversary by Mr. Rajan who is one of our founders and I think that we really are looking for an exciting young group of individuals that want to take the chamber to the next level. So if you are interested or you know somebody that is interested, please let us know. Sumana is going to be sending out the applications very soon. And of course, there is an application uh, and there's a review, a review process. And again, you have to be a current uh, member in good standings to, to be a board member. Good evening, my name is Prema Radham. I'm an attorney with Chug LLP. We have our offices in Edison, New Jersey. Our uh, corporate office is in California. We have branches in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, as well as Virginia. Um, I practice primarily in uh, commercial law, corporate law, transactional work. Uh, here We are here today with uh, uh, the Asian Indian Chamber of Commerce. I'm the president-elect for the South Asian Bar Association of New Jersey and we are very uh, thrilled to collaborate with the AICC on this networking event. We had a great turnout and our president Sharmila Jayaprasad gave a fantastic presentation on uh, Business 101 and gave us a lot of tips on what to do and what not to do when you're starting a new business or a new enterprise or how to form entities. Uh, we are here to help you um, as lawyers, so please reach out to one of us with anything that you might need. Now there are LLCs that have 75 members, but it's something that's usually, um, the taxation flows down through the, the membership. A C Corp, which is what you hear um, when you talk, there's C Corps and S Corp. A C Corp is going to be a larger entity. It gets double tax. When you hear about double taxation, so you're going to get taxed on your corporate level and you're going to get taxed on your individual employment level. It's generally not something I recommend to my, my corporations or their, my companies when they come to me because nobody wants to pay the double taxation. And unless you're looking to grow your company very large and become a public corporation, it doesn't really make sense. That C Corp doesn't necessarily fit. Now, if you want to have a corporation with an S election, which is where you, you file just like a regular C Corp, but you elect to be taxed as a partnership, which is the flow through entity, that is something you can do. Tonight, we came together so that I could do a uh, presentation on Business Ventures 101. We talked briefly about setting up your own entity, dissolving your entity, and employment as along the way. That was a portion of our presentation. It was a great networking event. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sarika. I'm from Unity Bank. Um, I'm at the AICC event and I had a great evening. Uh, we had a good um, networking event with Sharmila, who's from Saba. Uh, she gave us some very good pointers on uh, formation of small business partnerships and certain strategies that the business owner should use. Um, I think it's a great uh, platform and AICC is doing a great job. I'm so happy to be part of AICC and be a member. Um, I think it's a great platform for people to network and get to know more knowledge. So thank you for having me. And I think everybody should be a member at AICC. I love coming to the Indian Chamber. It's just a, a friendly group. They treat you like family. And wherever they've had it, it's been growing big and bigger. And I started uh, with this chamber maybe five years ago. I try and make it every time they have it on the last Wednesday of each month, but it's enjoyable. Like I said, they, they treat me like family. Like you walk in, it's like I'm speaking to my brothers and sisters, and it's really enjoyable. And of course, in this place we're in the, uh, tonight, it's just uh, it's just enjoyable. And we're here and welcome 
the opportunity to work with everyone. And we, I'm honored to be a member of this association where my mentor started it way back when. So I look forward to becoming part of a new and evolving organization that's taking the leadership to a new level. Thank you. Hi, my name is Priti Pandya Patel and I'm the president of the Asian Indian Chamber of Commerce and tonight we had our uh, August networking night and we actually did a joint venture um, networking with Saba which is the South Asian Bar Association and they actually did an amazing presentation on what to do on a startup uh, company. Um, we have uh, great members that showed up here um, and really good questions and I want to thank ITV for covering this event. Next month we are also featuring um, an amazing networking event with multi-chamber, uh, all the chambers from New Jersey are going to be coming out doing a networking. It's going to be at Ember Indian Restaurant um, on September 26 and we're also going to be doing the Immigrant Entrepreneur Awards in which we're going to be honoring a lot of the Asian Indians in, the, in uh, New Jersey and we're going to be presenting them with um, an award for doing outstanding service in our community. So again, thank you so much ITV Gold for covering this event and supporting the Asian Indian Chamber of Commerce. Time for another short break. Stay with us on Vision of Asia, voice of the community. We'll be back shortly. Welcome back. You are tuned into Vision of Asia, bringing you prime South Asian highlights from all across. The disastrous floods of Indian state of Kerala have been one of the most key concerns for the Indian government and the global Indian community as the devastation from the floods has been stated as the worst floods in century for the state of Kerala, leaving over a million people displaced in shelters, hundreds dead and many now facing major health crises with flood water infections. Kerala's chief minister has opened up a huge distress relief fund called the CMDRF, asking the Indian diaspora across the world to make contributions and help our community in need. The Indian American associations nationwide here have begun mobilizing communities, here raising awareness and organizing several relief associated events as well. On that, recently the Indian American Senator representing New Jersey's 11th Legislative District, Senator Vin Gopal, organized a fundraiser for the Kerala flood victims, sending a strong message to the Indians in New Jersey to come out and support the cause. This is Senator Vin Gopal and I urge everybody watching ITV to make sure that we support our brothers and sisters in South India and the state of Kerala that are going through tremendous flooding, disease in the water, people displaced. We need to do everything we can to help them. My name is Suchitra and um, I'm here at Bombay River, 90 Broad Street in Red Bank. Uh, we are here to support Vin Gopal, the Senator, to um, support the fundraiser for the Kerala victims. Kerala is the South Indian state and they've been um, a, like being a victim of the natural disasters. So there's a lot of devastation and destruction there. So Vin has been uh, arranging, organizing this event to uh, generate some funds and be, be a help to all the victims. So we're here to just support him. I'm really happy to be here today. It's a great cause. We are happy to help out and we'll continue to support. Uh, hopefully you guys out there are able to support also. First, we're very happy to have uh, Bombay River here uh, in Red Bank uh, as a great addition to our restaurant scene. Um, we wish Sammy a lot of luck, um, but we are here uh, to help uh, raise awareness and raise funds for the flood victims in India after the, after the terrible flooding incident. And uh, we just are trying to do our part as a community uh, to, to help our fellow humans. I want to thank the mayor today. Earlier today, we raised thousands of dollars. Uh, over a million people have been displaced in South India due to tragic flooding. Uh, many children have lost their lives and adults. And I want to thank the mayor, as well as Bombay River, a great restaurant here in the borough of Red Bank, for having us. Uh, people were here for the last hour and a half. We raised a lot of money. Mayor, thank you for helping us. Th thank you for being in Red Bank. And we in Red Bank are so uh, uh, want to express our condolences as well as our unity with the people of Kerala State and also with all those affected by India. We're a small world. We're all interconnected. The Indian American community is very strong in New Jersey, very strong in Red Bank. And we are so happy to be partners with the people of Kerala State to show them we care. We are all part of the same universe and all planet and uh, we, we wanted to show our unity with them. 
We again would like to reach out and send our support for the global Kerala Malayali community who are facing vast devastations and health crisis post the recent floods in India. We encourage all Indian Americans to participate in relief efforts work for our community back home. And this wraps up our segment of South Asian Happenings for tonight. Send us your events or any suggestions to get your voices and organizations on our show. Do write to us on events at itvgold.com or follow us on our Facebook at itvgold. Remember to now also subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch the show for free. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is Vision of Asia and I am Aditi Lamba. Take care and be well.